Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another reaction to the newest episode of Pretty Little Lies Original Sin. Uh, the first three episode premiere is done. Go shout out those if you haven't already. It's a, I, I'm enjoying it so far. It's crazy. But what do you expect from a Pretty Little Lies show by the man behind Riverdale with a Friday the 13th edge to it? You, you want crazy in that, don't you? And without further ado, they've dropped two new episodes. So let's watch the first of those two episodes here today. Episode four, chapter four, the Bracket, fee, bracket, male gaze. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? No, my mom would kill me. God, Angela, just have some gum later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get used to it. Hey! Oh, shit, Angela, hold this. You girls smoking back here? Not me, just her, right, Angela? What an asshole. <laughs> Kicking things off, you know. Not just the, the lying and the blaming, but the encouraging to smoke. Like, come on, it's, well, it's 1999 here, but it's 2022 now. Come on. And I did realise who that is just now. I was, um... I'm still fuzzy on names. It was her mother, the mother who blamed the, the, oh God, the daughter who is on probation and who has the ankle monitor for drugs and who's took the fall for her mother's drugs. So, you know, there's a little play, a you know, callback on that, you know. Her at an early age also blaming drugs, smoking, on someone else rather than herself. Took me a minute to get there. Because you younger versus older. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Solid, eh? Like I was saying, you know. Is it, you, oh. But you're making your daughter take the fall for your drugs, that's just... Ugh. Ugh. You know, like, is A really the villain around here? Like, yes, it's a serial killer, but still. Look, I got you something. Are we friends, Marjorie? And it's also the same bear. Ooh. Beautiful from A. Beautiful. Anyway, the girl she was making take the fall was the girl who jumped at the beginning. It's all it's all connecting in my mind now. I mean, the show is very clearly spilling out for me, but it's very all connecting. I wasn't really in your mother's friend group. What about Angela Waters? What would I know about Angela Waters? I'm trying to talk to as many people from your graduating class as possible for a school project. I don't know anything about Angela. So no. Sorry, I can't help you. What school project would this be? <laughs> Calling about your mother, I can kind of understand, you know, trying to hear stories or whatever. Calling about school projects about your mother and uh, your mother who just killed herself and Angela who killed herself 20 years ago. What school project are you doing? Our moms. Are we never going to tell them what happened to Karen or to us? Not until we know more about what really went down with Angela Waters. I've been putting out calls, but no one wants to talk about her. No one wants to talk about the girl who unalived herself 20 years ago, Imogen. I'm shocked. I'm stunned. I mean, what's there to say? Apparently she, she was up very, you know, not very popular either, by all accounts. So, it's not like you're, you're going to find an old friend of her, perchance. And she unalived herself 20 years ago. What, what are people going to say about her? This lovely couple put an offer on your house, Imogen. What about all our stuff? I was going to bring a crew in. Pack things up, clean the house. Can I do it? Sure. I don't think she can. I mean, it's an entire house full of stuff. I don't. I don't think Imogen here. No offense to her, can sort all of that and clean the entire house by herself. Actually, so you know. Kelly, are you switching dance lockers? Yeah, I like Karen's better. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, I'm still not fully convinced. I should be at this stage, but I'm still not fully convinced that that's. Kelly and not Karen. I'm really not convinced. Oh, they're twins. It could be. That could be Karen. Very easily. I'd like you to do a series of one-on-ones to get back up to speed with Kelly. I'll get caught up, but can't I work with Henry? Would it make more sense for her to work with Henry, considering that, you know, her and Henry's roles are so intertwined in the story? I mean, every time I see them rehearsing, it's them two dancing, so would it make more sense for her to, you know, work with Henry? to get up to, up to shave on it all. We could just hang out at least. I've heard of a few parties we could crash. My mom's never let me go out on Halloween. I could come over. We could hand out candy, chill with your moms. Oh, I would 
never inflict that on anyone, but especially not you. Let me see what I could do. I might be able to sneak out. So cute. They're so cute. <laughs> oh, I mean, I show about murder and all that. It's nice to have a little cute break. Mousey. Mouse. I can never see Mouse sneaking out of her house <laughs> like that. But, yeah, hopefully they'll work something. I'm sure they will work something out for it at least. Hello? Imagine don't go down to the dark basement in your old home. Don't do it. Please. I realise A hasn't texted you in a couple weeks, but I don't think you should, even if A wasn't around, you know, in your old home, or your mum unalived herself, going down to the creepy dark basement. Not the, not the best idea, I'd say. Anyone there? Like I said, not the best idea, as A watches her walking down the stairs. <laughs> not the best idea. And those stairs look very unsafe. Not the best idea. He just wanted to play dolls. He was, you know, he came, he got his hair all ready. He came out, he heard her, you know, messing around with the doll box. He was like, I want to play dolls. That she was gone. I just, just wanted to play dolls, man. That's what we wanted. Can I help you? So sorry to bother you. My husband and I, we just put an offer on this house. Was this your house? It still is my house. Did the real estate agent tell you what happened in it? Imogen, this house is going to be sold. You cannot, I mean, the real estate agent, I feel like, legally has to say about the woman who unalived herself in the bathtub upstairs. I mean, I think she legally has to, or if she doesn't, she probably legally should have to. But you can't just scare everyone off like this. I just told them the truth. That my mom died there. No, you said that a woman had been murdered there, which is not the truth. It's my house. Okay, so it sounds like she did disclose that the woman, you know, unalived herself in the bathtub. Which is very different from murdered there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, understand the distinction. She, the, the woman was not murdered. She murdered herself, which doesn't go down as murder. So she is in the clear, real estate law wise. Why does no one want to talk about Angela Waters? Move on, Imogen. And your house needs to be sold. Finish picking out what you want to save and say goodbye. She is right that the house needs to be sold. Debt or no debt. It's just a big old house sitting empty. I don't imagine Imogen... I don't imagine Imogen want to live there, you know, she gets enough PTSD just walking through it without, you know, living there and constantly seeing the visage of her now dead mother, and the Angela Wars stuff, I mean, they are hiring stuff, so, uh, you know, Imogen's fair enough on that one. Look, Greg, I'm making another video, but don't worry, this one's fully sanctioned. Has anyone ever told you that you look like Ryan Reynolds? I don't see it. <laughs> I had to look at him for a few minutes. Sorry, Greg, I don't see it. I can't put, my, can't put my finger on what actor you do look like, but it's sadly not Ryan Reynolds. But I understand you're just, you know, ass guessing a bit tab of what's against me in your film, so that's fair enough going for Ryan Reynolds. That, that's that's probably the one you should go for. Even guys find, even straight guys find Ryan Reynolds to be, oof, you know. What's the movie? Have you ever seen Hitchcock's Psycho? Girl stops at a motel, takes a shower, guy comes in, kills her. But I'm flipping it, and I need a guy who's not shy. Basically, it's a shower scene with a hot girl, right? Mm -hmm. Sweet. I mean, it's the hot girl killing you. It's you, you know, you with your kit off, and her not with her kit off, killing you. But, uh, you know what, Greg? Just, yeah, just shake the hand and agree to it. Just go along with it, Greg. Farron Bryant, the only reason she got cast as the Black Swan is because she's black. At least, that's what your sister said. She didn't actually use that word. I thought Karen was the gaslighting microaggressor, not you. Okay, Kelly 100% is also, you know, a manipulator like that. <laughs> but, oh, this could be Karen. I think I'm going to keep saying that until it's 100% not. I know Imogen said she wanted to, but once again, we, we really shouldn't be leaving the sorting of this giant house to the 
teenaged pregnant girl. We should, we just really, even even as just like a, a teenage boy, you probably should. It's, a, it's just a lot of work to be doing. One more game? Yes, but a different one. Hey, it's the Luigi board. Got the Luigi board. Oh, don't try and communicate with your dead mother emotion. That's it. That sounds like a terrible idea. Can we hang out after school tomorrow with the girls? A losers club reunion? I'm down. We're not shooting till Wednesday night. What's up? I thought maybe we could try to contact my mother. Oh, I mean, you've, you've all been dealing with, with a, a psychopathic serial killer, so I guess we, we could pull out the old Ouija board and try and contact your dead mum emotion. Sure, that sounds like a fun group activity we could all engage in. Someone coaching you when they're not even a good dancer. I disagree. While you were in detention, I worked with Kelly. She's gotten a lot better. It's almost like I'm dancing with Karen again. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Could easily just be Karen. Really, very, very, very easily. Really just could be. We are um, gathered here to make contact with the spirit of Davy Lee Adams. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on, you know, Ouija boards and summoning spirits i feel like you got the best chance of a connection up in the bathroom where her spirit went you know <laughs> i feel like that might be yeah, it might probably uncut more uncomfortable on the bathroom floor but we're probably a best shot why would you leave me if you really did kill yourself out of guilt then you had to have known i'd be the one to find you and deal with all this bullshit. i know we're really getting to pedantic when we talk about how ouija boards work because how the hell do Ouija boards work? But don't you, ha you have to hold the tri little triangle thing, you know, to make that connection for them to work for you to move it. You know, no point having a go at the spirits when you're not even touching it. Like, why aren't you moving it? You need to be touching it. Fuck you! I hate you! And you want to know what else? I'm glad that this place is selling because I don't want to think about you anymore. You probably should definitely, I mean, you probably definitely shouldn't be saying F you to the potential spirits in the room. <laughs> that, just, that just feels like a bad idea, honestly. And you say you're glad they're selling. Well, you, you kind of screwed over that last day. Also, I don't know if you really are. But you're wrong about having no one. Yeah. You have us. That's what I was going to say. She has, a, she has the girl gang here. <laughs> she has these four people. You don't have no one. Evasion. Like, come on. The girl gang's been here for all of this for you. How can we help you, Sheriff? Unscheduled drop-ins and searches. The mother, um, when the sheriff showed up, the mother clutched that bag immediately like Gollum with the ring <laughs> there is something in that bag oh no I have to wear a costume you're wearing a speedo that makes zero sense I wouldn't be showering with a speedo on we're not gonna see the speedo we're shooting around it the nudity like the violence will be suggested Greg was hoping to get his dick out he was he, he, he thought he would you know just be out and swinging around impress all the women he's, he's very disappointed with that speedo is Greg She never learned her lesson. Mummy was going to throw you under the bus again just like she did to Angela Waters. There. She did do that. I mean, to Angela Waters, it was throwing her under the bus for smoking. And for her own daughter, it was throwing her under the bus for using illegal narcotics. And getting a sense of juvie. So not entirely the same thing. Worse, even. But uh, yeah, she, she, she was happily throw you under the bus continuously, Noah. She's just, just very sad, honestly. You had dinner with Norman. You're attracted to him, aroused by him. So, in true slasher fashion, you're to penetrate him with your knife. <laughs> Greg's little look over the shoulder. When Tamper said that she was going to penetrate Greg, like, she's going to do what now? <laughs> with the knife, and he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> That was really unnerving, actually. <laughs> that was very well shot. So well done, Stava, for that. That was very creepy, very unnerving. Oh. Oh my God. 
He's totally naked. Where's your damn speedo, Greg? <laughs> All right, Greg. Where is your speedo, mate? Okay, I wasn't expecting to see Greg's ass right now. Jesus. Very Greg of it, though. Greg, Greg probably should have been expecting that. I'm not shy because there is no reason oh to be. My. Plus, I gave up carbs for this, so. It's not about. Give up carbs? She offered you to roll like two days ago. What do you mean you gave up? You didn't eat bread for two days. Well done, Greg. What, 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 what do you want from me? Well, actually, the only place people go to eat in this town is the, the pizza, the pizza place. So actually, giving up carbs is actually quite a big sacrifice. And Greg, now when you think about it. say what happened to Tabby I think we can all deduce around what happened to Tabby and oh not nice to think about she's clearly not having a good time I'm not having a good time thinking about it oh Farron and Greg were getting kind of cold I wanted to go home so I shot it yeah but d don't worry I followed the storyboards exactly so is that okay no it's fine I mean you can't just expect them also just wait you know ad infium forever <laughs> for you to get that I mean fair enough it's getting late it's close to midnight. Greg's letting it hang in the wind. He must be getting a bit chilly in here in the shower. I mean, fair enough. They wanted to go home. He got where's got all the shots. As long as they're all good, um, aces, you know. If not, I guess we'll just have to break into the school again. What a waste of a good pizza. I mean, the implications of you know the madman being here, and if you leave this building, then you're against your parole on your last night. The ankle monster is also there, but what a waste of a nice pizza! <laughs> just him standing, there's just the four of them last stuck to him, and it's just standing and just slowly turning the knob, hoping the door will just open. <laughs> oh, big A, big A, what 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 a unit! <laughs> <laughs> All right, A, A with the takedown there. <laughs> he could have grabbed her on that corner, though. He easily could have grabbed her on that corner. She was right in front of him. Not trying your best right now, A. Come on. <laughs> what was the plan there? I mean, you're very much against your parole right now. I'm just waiting for Sheriff Beasley to show up, and but he was chasing me, or who, and then he's not there. That's how I'm expecting this scene to play out, but come on. Fuck you! Why don't you come and get me, you little bitch? Imagine he just vaulted over. Just a one-two jump. Oh. That would be beautiful. Your ankle monitor is going off. You are against your parole. A has won this round still. <laughs> what do you want? Punish the guilty. Oh, deep, gravelly voice from A. A actually talks. I, I, I can't explain. I wasn't expecting him to talk. He, he grunted earlier. Fair enough. I wasn't expecting A to talk. Wants to punish the guilty. Okay, motivation. Go off. Also, if you want to punish the guilty, then her mother is probably at work right now. So just wait a few hours, she'll come back. Who's guilty? Your mother. Like I was saying, the mother. Uh, not just for the drugs, obviously of, of Angela and all that as well. But you know, I feel like mainly of framing her daughter for doing drugs that she did. Mola General Hospital, how may I direct your call? Security, please. One moment. Security. <gasps> I've called hospitals, they never transfer you that quick. You gotta hear a dial tone for like a minute at least before they'll put you through <laughs> as she grasses up her mother. And fair enough, A's getting what he wants. Sheriff Beasley shows up, he'll get what he wants because you're not home right now. Everyone, well, you don't win and your mother doesn't win, but I mean, A wins and Sheriff Beasley wins, so no one good wins, actually, come to think of it. One of your nurses, Marjorie Olivar, has been stealing drugs from the hospital pharmacy. Come again? Check her purse. <laughs> How's she gonna get back over now? You can go down all the way round back to your building that way. 
that gives the sheriff time to show up you you could take a running jump again and you could maybe die but you could make it again but then your ankle monitor goes off the only way your ankle monitor doesn't go off is if you pretty much just one two jump it and i don't like your odds of that one so i don't know what the plan is now noah but i mean we'll see how it plays out <laughs> What did Greg do to Tabitha? Because Tabitha is... She's hungry for revenge on him right now. She is not happy. Oh, A wants to punish the guilty. Greg's definitely getting punished, isn't he? A wants to punish the guilty. Greg's definitely getting punished at some point here. I need your help. And I didn't want to ask over text. Mysterious. This is going to sound crazy, but what if Karen's not really dead? Don't bring some random guy into this. Don't bring Henry into this. He'll just think you're insane. What if Kelly's actually Karen? Do you understand how crazy that sounds? Like, oh, ter terrible plan. Remember the razor blades in Karen's point shoes? If Kelly is actually Karen, she'd have some kind of scar. Offer to give her a foot rub during PT. All you have to do is offer to give this random girl a foot rub, Henry. Come on, just get down there. Start working on those dogs. Like, come on, Henry, get with the team. Guys. Ace back. A never left. Just because they didn't send you a text for two weeks didn't mean A ever left. Okay, you, you guys got way too excited about A being gone just because he didn't send you a text for a few weeks. Like, come on, he always been here, just watching and waiting. And that is another episode of Breathe All Lies Original Sin over and done with. I am enjoying it. Heading towards Halloween now, next episode. Uh, a making noah rat out her mother tabitha something greg did something to her wes a little bit creepy chip chip was is definitely creepy chip also a little bit odd something about him a wants to punish the guilty greg is definitely guilty greg's getting punished the way greg's going about i wouldn't be surprised if a just whoosh, chops his little friend down there right off Oh, getting good though. Episode 4, over and done with. I've enjoyed it. Hope you have too. If you have, why don't you leave a like and subscribe to see when my reaction to the next episode, episode 5, drops. That dropped the same day as episode 4, so I'll jump on a reaction as that ASAP to get that out to you. But I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, like I said, leave a like, subscribe for more, and as always, I just want to say thank you for watching.